Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about the enterprise structure in sales and distribution. So this is our first video with the sales and distribution. And we are going to start with the enterprise structure. So this is our metal management uh, enterprise structure. So before configuring the ST enterprise structure, we need to uh, configure this thing only. Uh, you can skip this purchase organization, but uh, but uh, before going to the enterprise structure, you have to configure all these things. This is a company, company code, controlling area, plant, and storage location. So I have already configured these things uh, and SAP MM uh, enterprise structure. I will provide the link uh, in my description of this video. Kindly uh, view it before uh, entering into this video. So I have explained all these entities uh, uh, in that video clearly. You can uh, view that. You, you can skip this uh, purchase organization. Uh, you don't want that. So after, after configuring these things, you can move to our uh, sales and distribution enterprise structure. So from the uh, sales organization, we can uh, start our uh, enterprise structure. So, sales organization is the first step in our uh, enterprise structure. So, n number of uh, sales organization can be linked to your company code. So, sales organization is the highest unit in the hierarchy of uh, sales. So, one sales organization uh, can also be responsible for uh, multiple company codes. So, it depends on the uh, configuration. Uh, the requirement of that uh, particular client so this sales organization uh, we can find in almost all documents relating to sales uh, example sales order uh, delivery note uh, billing so in, in all uh, in all documents that is related to sales we can find this uh, entity so it is a very important uh, entity in uh, sales uh, enterprise structure so let's start our configuration uh, by the way we can uh, discuss the other uh, concepts also so I'm entering to SPRO SAP reference IMG so first I'm entering into the enterprise structure so the first step is I'm going to define and then assign so I am entering into the de definition. So uh, I have already created the company code, company controlling area, plant, storage location. So all these things I have already created in my uh, uh, previous video. So uh, now I am going to create the sales organization. So it can be uh, found in sales and distribution uh, tab. So here. I'm executing defined copy delete check sales organization. So I'm going to create my new sales organization. So in this example, I'm going to create only one sales organization and I will assign it to my company code. So click on new trees. Okay, I can specify the name of the sales organization. So I don't want to give uh, any de detailed information here. I can just save this entry. So once I am try to save the entry, it, uh, it asks for the address. So I can give in some address for my sales organization. So this is source term. So if I enter uh, BRP, I should get the entry. Okay, I'm giving the uh, country region. Okay, 
during the entry. Postal code must have length. Okay. This is the postal code. Okay, I can give any postal code. This is the city. Okay. So <coughs> the data is saved. So I have defined the sales organization. Moving to the next thing, so they de define copy tell it check distribution channel. So this is the second uh, entity in my enterprise structure. So sales distribution channel. So distribution channels are one by which uh, my products reach my customer. So by by what way my products uh, is going to reach to my customer uh, is denoted by the distribution channel. So either it may be uh, through direct sales or it may be through uh, through sales by a dealer uh, or it can be through uh, it can be done by means of uh, online sales. So by, by what means my product is going to be uh, reach my customer is uh, denoted by the distribution channel. So I can have a n number of distribution channel. Uh, so I'm going to create a distribution channel with the name with the code BE. So I'm, I'm going to enter my configuration. So click on new entries. Selecting on BE. I'm, 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 I'm going to denote this as a BERP by means of cash cash sales. No, not uh, not a cash sales, but uh, okay. Let it be online, on online, online sale. Okay, I'm going to save this entry. Okay, I've, I've configured this. Let me check. Okay, there is only one distribution channel. Okay, I've, I've created the distribution channel. Okay, the next step is sales office and sales group. So these are the uh, uh, okay uh, sales office and sales group. Uh, let me show this this full thing. Okay, these are the, these are the entities. This, this is uh, uh, the sales person. So the uh, sales group denotes the uh, the group of sales person uh, and also the sales office. So <laughs> the sales offices may be denoted by the sales area. So uh, not uh, not really not included the sales area in this uh, structure. Uh, before going to that, we will configure all these things: uh, the sales offices, sales groups, and uh, sales person. So I'm just entering the sales offices uh, VRP. I'm not going to give any description. Okay, I'm just uh, okay. VRP sales office. This is this is the option entry. You can you can give or you can skip this thing, these things also. It's not an issue. Okay. Okay. Maintain the uh, sales office. I'm skipping the sales group. It is not uh, much important. Okay. Coming to the. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think I've uh, defined those, these things. Coming to the material management. I've already already created this storage location plant and uh, and all that. You can uh, refer that video. That uh, that is I have provided in the uh, description of this video. So I'm going to assign it. Entering into the logistics general. Now I have assigned the plant to the company board in my previous video itself. Okay, entering into the sales and distribution. Okay, assign sales organization to my company code. This is very important. So I'm what I'm doing now is I'm going to assign the sales organization uh, to my company code. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, make it a position. I'm going to search my sales organization. So here I am going to assign my company code, I already created company code as BRP, so click on enter and save. Okay, completed the first thing, 
second thing is assign distribution channel to sales organization that is this thing distribution channel to sales organization okay let me have to create a two division i think so okay we can create okay click on position search for the uh, sales organization okay we can have a new entry sales organization and my distribution channel is uh, this thing be i've created with the with the code be so i am uh, just enter be and click on enter okay click on save back assign division to sales organization but before before entering to the division let me check whether i have created two divisions i don't think i have created distribution channel okay i have not created the division okay enter the in logistics general we can have the uh, division here define copy delete check division we have not created the division yet so what does division means okay the division so in this uh, in this example i'm going to create two divisions that is be and uh, pr so division generally it notes uh, the grouping of uh, products for example if i if i'm going to sell uh, some multiple products uh, so let's say for example i am going to um, sell 10 products so i i, I will categorize those 10 products in, in into two divisions one division will have uh, five products and other division will have uh, five products so i can i can split those uh, products according to the divisions so when i create uh, create those products uh, that is uh, the in my material master uh, th that uh, each material when i when i go going to execute under my uh, mm01 material master i have to assign the division to that material so this entity is very 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 important in terms of the uh, uh, material configuration so in, in this uh, example i'm going to create two divisions be and uh, br uh, so let it be uh, be be the uh, let me show it new entry be okay uh, let me configure it as uh, uh, gadget And on the next next division is BR. Okay, typing it as BR and let, let it be uh, accessories. So I'm denoting it with my company code. Okay, I'm saving the entry. So this division is going to be a gadget. So I'm going to sell the gadget. and this division specifies the uh, collection of accessories for that gadget so this division is responsible for uh, a collection of uh, different accessories for that uh, particular gadget and this division is going to be uh, responsible for uh, for selling the gadgets so likewise i can uh, uh, classify my divisions so now i have created the divisions and now so i'm just closing it so that uh, it will be very clear so i'm now in my assignment uh, section so i have executed this assign distribution channel to sales sales organization and now i'm going to do with uh, assign division to sales organization so my sales organization is uh, brp and just now we have created uh, Two thing P E and uh, B R. Ah, okay, I have assigned it to the sales organization. Okay. The next step is set up sales area. So, in this uh, thing, I have not uh, included the sales area, but uh, the collection of sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Uh, these three things collectively called as sales area. so i'm going to do this thing only the sales organization this distribution channel and uh, this division br i'm going to 
have it as a i'm going to set up a sales area with these things so i'm executing it click on new tree okay it it demands for the sales organization my distribution channel is distribution channel division let me check be and uh, br okay be and uh, br click on enter okay okay i am leaving behind this thing this division i am setting up a sales area for uh, this thing sales organization uh, be and uh, br okay getting back okay assign sales office to sales area okay i can assign it click on new entry my sales organization uh, distribution channel what is it distribution channel be and uh, br okay be and uh, br uh, sales office configured i think so okay okay Uh, we have not uh, included any sales group. Okay, leave leave with leave this thing. Assign sales organization to distribution channel plant. Okay, I'm executing executing it. I've already created the plant. Uh, please uh, refer uh, that video. Uh, that that link is in description of this video. Okay, we know the sales organization. Uh, distribution channel customer material. Okay. Plant this BRP. Okay. Click on back. Okay. As in sales area, okay. We have we have not include any uh, credit control area. We will discuss in my uh, further videos. Just leave behind this. So I have configured the uh, assignment also. Uh, let me check. Uh, we have missed something. No. Okay, we need to go with the shipping point and uh, warehouse configuration. We will we will discuss in uh, my further videos uh, in the warehouse management uh, enterprise structure. So I have configured uh, the enterprise structure. So in this thing, we I have left the uh, two things that is uh, common distribution channel and uh, common division. So we will have a separate session uh, for that thing. So uh, up to this, I'm just going to check the uh, output. Enter the T code EC zero one. Click on enter. Click on structure, navigation. Tick here. So the list of company codes will be displayed. Going to search my company code that is BRP. Okay. okay, here double click on it. So let me check my uh, configurations. Okay, controlling area plant sales organization have been linked. So under the sales organization, we have a distribution channel uh, sales organization. Okay. Company code, okay. So, likewise, the output has to be. So, we have uh, done our uh, enterprise structure configuration with EST, and we will uh, we will continue on our uh, next class with the uh, common distribution channel and uh, common division. Thank you, guys. Thank you.